What is up guys, welcome back to another video. We are here at Mission Viejo Country Club doing a special edition of 2v2. Today I have two of my teammates with me. I have Adam, Thomas, and as you guys remember, I have Zach out here with me today. And we are going to be doing a 2v2 scramble for six holes, starting on hole number one, the par five. Let's get right into it. All right guys, here we are on the first hole. Oops. Here we are on the first hole here, par five, dogleg left. It's gonna be about 240 to carry that on the left side. I'm definitely ripping driver. Zach's going with iron just to put us in the fairway to be safe. Thomas has got driver, Adam's got driver. Missed it a little bit to the right side. It's okay. All right. Got a driver here on this par five. Just gonna try to take it down the right side, keep us safe, but give us a good look at the green. Oh yeah. Well, beauty. Here's Adam now with driver. Just over there on the left side. Now Thomas. Thing started off way left. I think he's okay. He was able to bring it back a little bit to the right. All right, Adam and Thomas's ball ended up in the bunker after their drive. Actually, Thomas's ball went into the water off of his drive, so they're taking Adam's shot on the left side here. They're in the bunker. They're about 340 to the green, so I think their play is just to put it back into our fairway here. All right, here's Thomas now. There, we go, Thomas. there you go. Put them on the other side of the trees. That shot went on the other side of the trees and they will have a look at the green now for the third shot. Coming up to my ball here in the fairway, this is where my drive ended up. Zach's ball, he hit iron. He was just back here a little bit in the rough. We're looking at about 250 to the pin. It's in the back of the green. Our goal is just to hit the middle of the green here, give ourselves a look at Eagle. We're good, we're good. I'd like to take a second and welcome my boy Zach back into the vlogs. It's been a while since you guys have seen, have seen him, but just with school and everything going on, it's hard for our schedules to line up. But he's back today. It happened today. Though. Him and I are going two v two. Glorious Easter day. <laughs> him and I are going two v two right now versus Thomas and Adam. He's gonna lead us off here on this second shot. All right, Zach, what do you got? Got a three wood. A lot of wind up there. Back pin. Just gonna try to hit the green. Two putt birdie. Oh my pure. Oh my goodness, that, I don't even want to hit after that. I went off the back. No way, long? Not too bad, I mean, we're in a good spot. It's all right, good shot there, that was awesome. All right, I also have three wood in hand. I was gonna go with two iron, but it's 250 into the wind, so I'm gonna play with some more, a little bit more club here. Uh, I'm gonna try to cut mine instead, play a little different shot shape, and see if I can land it soft on the green. Got it. Just right of those bumps. But, but it cut a little bit too much, so I'm just short right in front of the green. So we'll have a look up there whenever uh, we get to the green to see where Zach is. All right, here's where Thomas and Adam's looking for their third shot to the green. It's about 170 from here. They kind of have to avoid this tree in their way, maybe go on the right side of it or get above it if they can. What are you looking at here? We're looking at 162 into the wind. Probably gonna play this about 175. It was holding up our second shots pretty pretty well, so I'm gonna definitely try to get it there and avoid that tree. And then I'm gonna go with a pretty easy seven iron. All right, Thomas has seven iron in hand. He says he's gonna try to draw it a little bit onto the green around this tree. Ooh, nice little low ball flight. Sit down. Sit down a little bit. All right, Adam also has seven iron. Same shot shape idea here. See if he can keep it on the green. All right, up here on the green, we're just a little long. Zach's been in the gym lately, and you know, he just decided to pound his three wood, so we're a little long in the green. He's got wedge, and we're gonna try to chip this close, maybe put it in for eagle. Very good touch. Good shot. We got Thomas right. in the wild. 
wilderness. Here he comes. Oh, over the top. Oh. Oh, check. Check, mate. Now we got another. It's got a bit of the shakes and hooks. Let's see if we can put one on the green. Oh, a little too much. All right, after those two shots, Thomas put one pretty close for them. Zach put us close enough to where we're pretty much a guaranteed birdie. So I have this shot still, and I'm just going to try to make it here, see if we can go two up. All right. It's all good. Zach's tight. We're on the green. Pretty much guaranteed bird here after hole number one. This is what we have left for birdie. Zach's going to tap it in to finish off the first hole. With that, we go one up after one. Thank you. Good putt. All right, Zach, coming off a of birdie on hole number one, what's our sure. strategy going into hole number two? You know, keep pressing. I'll, I'll find the fairway. AJ can rip driver, put us down there. Put one tight, hopefully make a putt. Yeah. All right, and what do you got in hand? I got a three iron. Three Short iron? Fairway. Perfect, I like that strategy. Find us a fairway, and then that gives me the freedom to kind of bang driver and just kind of put us in a good position for our second shot. Mm. Beautiful. Good shot. <laughs> All right, Zach got us in the middle of the fairway. Instead of hitting three wood, I'm gonna go with driver here and try to take the corner and cut the trees and put us a little closer to the green. Hit that one a little bit high on the face. My attack angle was a little too down on it, so it opened up the face and I kicked it a little right, but Zach's in the fairway, so we'll be taking this here on the second hole. All right, Thomas, after that first hole, what are you looking at here? What are you, after what's your plan? Hole, we're just trying to get this in the fairway, give ourselves a good look at an approach here. Uh, not too complicated of a hole if you can just keep it in play. So gonna put a three wood uh, right down the middle. All right. It's hit pretty hard, just down the left side. Yeah, it's on. All right, here's Adam, also going with three wood. Nice. Nice shot, nice shot right down the middle of the fairway. All right, we're gonna end up taking Zach's ball here. My driver was out and to the right by those trees over there, so we're gonna be taking his. We're 126 from here. Got a little knockdown P wedge. Still some wind up there. Front pin, don't want to overspin it. Get it back there, get a putt for putt for birdie. Cool, I like that play. It's gone a little bit to the left. Uh, it's on the front side of the green, left side of the pin. Just kind of overcooked it a little bit, I think, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Came up a touch short too, but it shouldn't be too bad. We'll have a putt at it. See if AJ can put it a little closer. All right, like you said, 126 into the wind. I've got pitching wedge as well. I like that play. Ball's above my feet. I'm gonna aim a little bit more right than I'm expecting just to compensate for the ball wanting to go left off the face. So, I'm gonna see if we can put it a little bit closer and have a putt for 30. Got a little heavy. It's gonna travel. Uh, just short. Bought that one heavy, short of the green. But it's all right, Zach is on and we have a putt. All right, Thomas's ball ended up staying in play here just by the cart path, 50 yards into this front pin. What do you got? Uh, this is a little bit of a touchy shot here, kind of tricky. You have to just catch it just right in order to get it over that sand trap and uh, stick it by the pin, but we're going to give it our uh, best effort right here. All right. A little long, sit down for a little bit. All right, just front of the green there. All right. Good shot. You just got to try to... Just gotta, gotta try to put it within 10 feet. Give you a good look at birdie. A little 60 degree, gonna try to punch it into the wind here. Now what do you wanna see? All right, coming up to the green here. My ball was a little short with pitching wedge. I kinda chunked it, hit a little heavy back there. Zach is on the front of the green. We have an uphill putt back towards the pen. Shouldn't be too much work for birdie. I think one of us will be able to make it. This is where Thomas and Adam will be playing their third shot here on this par four. Thomas and Adam are gonna lead us off here for this putt. All right, we got a little bit of an uphill breaker. I think it's gonna move pretty good. Um, I'm gonna have to give it some speed to get it up this hill. 
Uh, just didn't break back to the right. All right, so can't really seem to hit a club today, so let's just see if we can start getting it rolling on the putting green. Uh, just on the right side. That's good for par, guys. All right, Zach, we don't have much left for birdie. Not a, not a whole lot, up the hill, just off the, off the right edge, I think. So, uh, we'll give it a run. All right. Zach was telling me this morning that his putter is feeling hot. So let's see if we can get it started here. Oh, perfect line, perfect speed. Just a little hard, huh? A little tuggy maybe. Yeah. Um, punch green so you never know. No, that was a good roll by Zach. No, I'll give it a try. Mm, just hung out. Just too hard on the right side. It's all right, we are in for par. In for par, moving on to hole number three, the par three. We are still one up. 168 yards here on this par three. The wind's a little bit at the back, and the pin is in the back too. 168, I usually would hit full eight iron here. I don't know, the wind's back and the pin is back, so coming in for my has to be the play. What do you got, Zach? I got a nine. It's at least a club downwind. If I hit an eight, it's bound to go long. I have a short-sided chip, so I'm just gonna do the safe play. Hopefully it gets all the way back there, give myself a birdie putt. All right. Give, give our team a birdie putt, I'm sorry. I like that play. Uh-oh, lost it out right. Shanked in the water. Ah, man. Yikes, that's poor. <laughs> <laughs> Going with no, the same play as Zach here. Nine iron, downwind. Just gonna try to hit it nice and smooth. He went in the water, so we have to get it on the green here. Give ourselves a chance. Well, this should be interesting. <laughs> I feel like I chunked that a little bit or hit it off the toe or something, but we're short on the green. We're gonna have a really long putt for birdie, and, uh, but we're safe, so that's all that matters. What do you got? Right, I'm going with the same thing as them, nine iron here, wind at her back. I'm gonna just play kind of up the left towards that sand trap, see if it'll cut back a little bit, but if not, we'll be safe. Go. Ah. Never mind. We'll be in the water. <laughs> we got an eight iron. Um, just not as big as those guys. So you just gotta try to get on the green. You know, play your game. Play your game, baby. I need to go. Dude, I like fell off my heels on that. After those average tee shots. We, um, we're safe, we have one ball on the green, they also have one ball on the green. Thomas won the water, Zach's in the water, so we're gonna have some tough second shots. It's a scramble, we're not gonna three putt, we just gotta hope they make bogey. This is where Thomas and Adam ended up after their tee shot. Adam's gonna lead us off here for their second shots. Play this one probably like eight feet in front of the pin, maybe five feet in front of the pin. I'm hitting into an upso uphill slope so it shouldn't roll out. It's alright, pin high. Alright, all right. his release right, so I'm gonna try to land it a little bit more left of the hole. A little hard. Alright, neither of those shots are a guaranteed par here. Zach and I's goal is just to try to put it somewhere within like a comfortable three foot circle. This is kind of what we're looking at here. Back up the hill. I feel like everything's gonna want to go left to right. I kind of disagree. I think it, the the green looks like it's going right to left, but there's water on the right. I'm gonna play it fairly straight. If you go off towards the right, it's gonna take a slope. So uh, I'll just try to hit good pace, kind of right at it. All right. You're never really trying to make these putts. You just want to put it within that little circle that you're comfortable tapping one in. Let's see what Zach can do here. Exactly what I said I didn't want to do. Oh, look at that thing roll. <laughs> I guess I should have listened to AJ. Maybe uh, man has some knowledge out here. It is his home course and all. All right, after watching Zach, I know everything wants to push a little bit right. I'm gonna play it about three or four feet left and see if I can put it close. It's got to giddy up. All right, we got some meat. All right. Not the best effort there on that putt, but I feel like one of us can make that par. All right, Zach's gonna see if he can tap this in for par. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Putter is hot today. 
Good shot. All right, we're taking this pot, probably the ball outside right. Just gonna let it break towards the hole. Just back up the hill here, a little right to left for Adam. Ooh, stayed out right. Thought that ball was moving back. All right, Thomas saw the read. Now he's gonna give it a try. Yep, yeah, good, putt, good putt, good save. Come on, baby. After hole three, we are still one up, moving into hole number four, the par four. After those tee shots, no par was looking promising, but that was some good short game combination between everybody, and we all walked away with the par. All right, here we are on hole number four, the par four, number one handicap. We're gonna try to take drivers down the right side where those bunkers are, try to draw them back, see if we can give ourselves a good look at the green. Yes, sir. Um, I'm just going to try to keep the spin down, get a lower shot. Still got that wind in our face and we got a bit of a tree situation on the left side. So I'm just going to try to find the fairway, hit a nice easy one. All right. All right can I get my ball back? Yeah, sorry. Uh, just falling off to the right a little bit. Oh, it hit the cart path. Okay. All right, so his hit the cart path and kicked forward. I mean, he's still in play up there, but I'm gonna try to play mine a little more left to see if I can hit the fairway. Get through. Yeah, yeah. All right, got lucky there. Barely missed the branch, but we're in the fairway. Whew. Here's Thomas now with his driver. Uh -oh. Go ahead, Adam. All right, here's Adam. See if he can help his teammate out. Pick him up here. Just tying right. Alrighty, this is where Thomas and Adam's tee shot ended up. It's playing about 175-ish up the hill. The back, pins in the back of the green. So ideally they'd like to land it on the top and not have it spin down, but let's see what their game plan is. I don't know what to do. I'm lost. I'm playing <laughs> like trash. It's a great day. Um, I'm stuck between a six and a seven. Last time I played my seven with uh, wind in our face, I flew the green by quite a bit. Um, but you know what, I think I'm going to go with the 7, it's not too bad. 7. And a little bit of a flyer like. How do you draw that? I think I'm up the left, maybe in the bunker. See if Adam can give, give us a better position. Alright, I'm taking 6 iron here. Kind of on the lie for a cut, but I'm just going to try, try to keep it out straight. See if we can get on the green. a terrible swing today. All right, we got 165 yards to this uphill pin. Wins into the face. Last time I tried to hit nine, and I came up pretty short on the last hole. So I'm gonna grab eight. I'm gonna try to flight this a little bit. Try to land it on the back tier. I don't want too much spin to spin off the front. So we're just gonna give it my best effort here and see what I can do. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Really good. All right, I stuck that one pretty close. It looks like I'm about 10 feet from the pin. I hit a nice little draw on that iron shot there, which gives Zach some confidence now to try to put his even closer. A little knockdown eight here, pretty pretty straightforward. Try to try to put one tighter than AJ. I guess that's the only thing I can do. Just it out right. Just over that bunker, but he missed it out right. All right, our third shot here. Uh, really need to get up and down here because AJ stuck one pretty close. So uh, it's going to be a pretty tough win, but uh, maybe we can get up and down par this. Uh, it's going to want to take off right, so I just got to land it just past the fringe on the green uh, and have it release towards the pin. So let's try to get close on this one. It's got to sit a little bit. Just caught it a little too much on the green. All right, here's Adam. 
I'm gonna try to put it a little closer for par. Ooh, this looks nice. Oh, that looks very nice. Ooh, keep going. Very good shot there, Adam. All right, we're looking at this little back up the hill. It's gonna go left to right. Shouldn't work too much though. The greens are pretty slow, so if we can hit it hard enough, we can get it through. Zach is feeling his putter right now. We're gonna let him lead off, see if he can keep the momentum rolling forward with us. Yes, sir, do it to him. Uh, second birdie of the day there. Good putt, Zach. Let that thing roll. All right, and with that birdie, we go two up now. We close it out on Adam and Thomas on that hole because they were putting for par. So we're two up through hole four, going to hole number five. Zach and I's team chemistry right now is looking pretty good. We're gonna try to keep it rolling, see if we can't close them out on this next hole. All right, hole number five, this uphill dogleg left par four. Typically, you wouldn't want to hit driver, but since this is a scramble, our strategy here is Zach's gonna bomb driver and I'm gonna put us in the fairway just to make sure that we have a safe ball in the second shot. Keep that momentum rolling here. His ball just went up and to the left. I think he's on the left side of the fairway, but he's good, so I'm just gonna try to hit the fairway now. All right, we're safe, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take driver and rip it up there. Might as well. Don't really need to hit the fairway anymore. I'm going to try to hit a draw, see if I can get as close on that hole. Well, it's all good. It's one of the best driver swings I've felt in so long, and it just didn't turn on me. It went straight over the bunker, probably down the hill, but Zach's ball's all right. All right, we're going with a little bit different approach from uh, their team. We're going to go with a three iron, just try to put it right down the middle of the fairway and give ourselves a short iron or wedge into the hole. Very nice. Yeah, good good play. So everything's fat today, folks. All right, we got 142 yards here. Uh, did exactly what we wanted, gave ourselves a short iron in. Uh, well, actually, I got a pitching wedge, so try to stick this close. That's shank. Not what we look for, but uh, they happen. They happen. It's all about the recovery. Um, a lot on the line here. I got a lot of pressure on me now. Um, 142. Uh, balls above my feet, so I'm gonna hit a choke down nine. Just try to get it up there on the green. Good swing there. Yeah, very nice shot. All right, Zach, run us through what you're thinking. Well, it's an uphill shot with a false front, so you got to get it back there. Um, it's pretty uphill, some slope helping you out, so it's just kind of, you know, a feely wedge. Get it up there, nestle it close, hopefully. Get up there. Yeah. Too shabby. Nice. Good ball there. All right. I've got a 56 here. I'm going to try to open it up. Same thing. Just want to feel this shot. It says we're about 56 yards. Have that stock yardage. We're just gonna try to put it on the green. We know Zach's on the green, so it doesn't do us any harm. Good if it goes. Ooh, baby. Good. All right, hopefully that got a nice little kick up towards the green, towards the pin. We couldn't see it down, so. Two pretty solid wedge shots from us there, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when we pull up on the green. All right, pulling up to the green. This is where Zach's ball ended up. Mine's right there for birdie. All right, Adam, what do we got here? We got a long, probably 20, 25 footer here. Um, thought nine iron might've been a little bit much, which I was right, but it's all right. We're just gonna try to put it close. They're up close, so. It's okay, it's a, a, chance here. a good positive to take away from that though, is that you hit the green, right, so. Yeah, thanks AJ. Yeah. Good roll there. Pretty good roll there. Give it a chance. That's good for par. All right, Tom, you guys are in for par. In for so. par here, yeah, I'm gonna be pretty aggressive. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna leave this short. Uh, we need it to fall. All right, this is a must make here. Oh. Go ahead. Oh. Oof. You know, I hit my line, but it didn't drop, but you know, it's just golf. It's all right. live with it. 
Good putt. All right, all we have to do here is two putt to win the match, but we have this little putt for birdie. Try to make it, go three up, finish it out here. Good putt. All right, too easy, too easy. Guys, hey. You're playing with Joe for our match today? Hey, you put up a fight, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. Zach, good job again today, my friend. Sir. Um, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Zach and I were able to come out with the 3-0 dub. Shout out to Thomas and Adam today for coming out. Appreciate having you guys on the channel. Their links will be in the description for their Instagram. They're on my college golf team at Vanguard University, so go ahead, give them a follow, check them out. Season's almost ending, so. <laughs> Shout out to Zach again for coming out. Putter was hot today. He had that putter thing rolling. Nice. Yeah? Been working on it. Swing feels good, huh? Swing feels all right. I've been working on the putter more, so. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to show that it's paying off. And uh, our team chemistry was just rocking and rolling today. It was a good time out there. I had fun with these boys. I felt pretty good out there today. I mean, driver is kind of missing off to the right a little bit, but I'm um, trying to pull that together. Irons and ball striking feel pretty good. Same with my wedges. All in all, it was a really fun day. I thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Till next time, guys. See you later. I won this record. Please now turn it over for the second side.